Hello everybody and welcome back. We had our Overwatch game earlier today, but now we are moving on to the Aurora Series Game Changers Valorant game. St. Clair College versus Conestoga Condors. I'm Matthias Talbot, also known as Matthias, joined here by Amanda Dupuis, also known as Commander. You said my last name wrong. I did. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, anyways, I'm excited for some game changers, you know, and I'm also going to have to change my last name from having an S at the end to no S. It's actually silent. Oh, I said Dupuis. I actually pronounced the S. My bad. Yeah. I should have said Dupuis. You got to gotta take that Just S Just a off, little, yeah, you know, Dupuis. For, for us uh, Anglophones. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> how are pressing. you feeling today? Are I'm, you excited for this game? I'm excited for this game. We have... We're broadcasting all day today, so uh, this is the game I've been looking forward to the most. Don't tell the other teams. <laughs> uh, but I haven't actually seen our Game Changers play while I've been in the studio. I've seen the stream from home. But I'm excited to see this winner's semifinals match for our undefeated during pools team. Yeah, undefeated during pools is quite a statement indeed, and that just is a testament to their skill. They've just been on a non-stop winning streak. No one has put a stop to them just yet, but now that we're getting up here into the final few ranks, things are looking a little bit more risky, you know? The competition's getting fiercer and fiercer as we move our way up through the ranks, and with Valorant, Anything can happen, you know? Don't check the right angle. Don't check a corner at a certain time. The entire day game can flip on a dime. Yeah, you know, don't check the right angle or the obtuse angle or the acute angle. Don't check any of them. Could flip. Could flip right on your head. But nevertheless, getting into this next game, what agents would you like to see? Let's just start out with a very general question. Hmm. You know, some of the newer ones, I'm less like i've seen less gameplay so i would we, like to see them yeah we haven't really seen much play of them people usually stick with what they're comfortable with we always see the jet the sova see fade a little bit here and there vice the newest agent i personally i think seen vice looks played. cool from what i've seen uh um, very, cool. very very cool and then clover as well looks very cool in my opinion uh, i like their whole aesthetic the purpley butterfly aesthetic yeah, clove is pretty cool yeah that's like totally my vibe so <laughs> i kind of hope we see some clove just so we see purple butterflies on the field <laughs> and whatnot um and then yeah like when it comes to game comps i know this game like the meta shifts so fast it's kind of like overwatch you know where the meta can shift so fast because there's so many different champs or right, heroes there's my league agents. brain say agents <laughs> There's too many, they have too many different names for these, <laughs> but, uh, you know, like League of Legends as well, lots of champs to choose from. So with the nature of like a hero shooter or a MOBA or whatever it is, the meta can change really quickly. So I don't really, I'm not super well versed on the exact meta right now, but I do hope to see some like new stuff that i haven't seen before i guess if that I makes agree. sense yeah. yeah something i think i remember from the last time i casted one of these game changer team games was they opted for a double duelist on the team you know it's like a normal oh, regular comp but they okay. were just so confident in their ability to frag out that they just always picked those duelists and it paid off they just had an absolute bulldozer of a game last time i saw them and i'm curious to see if that train is still going it seems like it's moving on very quickly so i don't know 100 percent win rate let's see if that's going to stop here you don't want it to stop here though no obviously not because if they win today they will be playing live on LAN for the aurora series and that's very exciting first year at the college and to go to a LAN first year of a team being in play is an absolute accomplishment. Well, I mean, if they get already, it's an accomplishment to get to winners semifinals. But getting to winners finals <laughs> and potentially grand finals on LAN, that's super impressive. And, like, I'm already super proud of this team um, for everything they've been able to do in a semester. Like, this is crazy. Yeah, There's some fierce good. competition out there. I mean, like, today we're against Conestoga. Conestoga, famously pretty dang good school in a lot of esports mm, yeah they have they have teams that are uh almost i almost said almost to our caliber but just at our caliber oh of yeah teams and it's just always a great game whenever we're playing against conestoga and going forward i'm really excited to see how they play what they pick 
and how this will all end up. But with all that being said, Valorant. Let's get into Valorant itself. Valorant itself. We've had some map changes. We've had some things change around from last time. I think you casted Valorant. Icebox, if that's a map that we're going to see. Did it get reworked again? It got reworked again. Uh, again? There. It's been reworked like three times. <laughs> it, ha it now has like a little ledge or little window through mid. You remember that mid tunnel that goes up and over the little ramp? Yeah, now yeah. It the... has a little, little window that you can... You peer down from oh. and, and shoot into mid. So it's it's quite different. I think it's more freeing when I play it. It feels yeah. less constricted. But at the same time, I think it's just that harder to attack. Yeah. Uh, well, another nice thing with it, too, is when you're playing defense with attack, you know, if somebody isn't sitting there, but they're rotating through there, you might have a chance to see them mm -hmm. and give that intel to your team or maybe even get that lucky headshot. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And there is one new map that I still haven't seen. I'm blanking on the name because I haven't casted it in okay. this entire time. I don't know if we're going to be seeing that today because I haven't seen anybody play on it yet. It might also be... <laughs> I think be... it's called Abyss. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Abyss. it might also be teams aren't super confident on it Most in likely. the way that, like... The other maps that have been out longer are a lot of times, you know, whether it's a league grace period that, you know, if that's already passed. I think that's far past. Okay. Yeah. Well, it also might be like, you know, the team comp might be less kind of the meta for that specific map and the team comps might be less set in stone and teams are still like figuring out the exact like min max optimal kind of stuff you can do on that map uh, but some other teams use it as an advantage right like sometimes teams will play that map because they're like we're gonna grind this one map to like perfection and we'll pick it every time because nobody is like nobody has that strat like we do right and then you meet the one team that does you meet the one team that does and you're like oh what is this <laughs> yeah, it's not what you're hoping for, but nevertheless, before we get in the game, I'm just gonna keep things light. Yeah. What's your favorite gun? If you, what's your pick? You Mine? know, you have a, you have a full buy. What are you buying? So if you're telling me between you like money. the Vandal and the Phantom, Could which be one? A shorty. Anything. You know what? Sure. We'll go Vandal. Phantom okay, we'll do start. that first. We'll do that first. Uh, First of all, I just want to brief the audience real quick. There are some tech issues uh, yeah, going on fallen. on the um, opponent Conestoga's side. So we're just going to like chill out for a little bit. Um, but yeah, and keep our voices warm, you know. It's a little chilly. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, so Phantom or Vandal? Phantom or Vandal. Um, you know, poison. everybody was always like the Vandal because the one tap potential. And I can't all. one tap. I, I know. I'm bad at the game too. I mean... <laughs> I can't one tap either, to be fair. So I find the Phantom because I am a spray and prayer. Phantom is easier to control that spray, I find. Uh, in my opinion, that's just preference. And I also have some like cuter skins uh, on that's the fair. Phantom, right? I got that Zed skin too, and it oh, yeah. and it sounds good. It sounds good. You play the music when you hold it in your hands. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it's great. so good. Yeah. That's how I feel when I'm cradling my champions, Vandal. I can listen to the champions themes, but nevertheless. Let's get right into the game. Here we are. Conestoga Koga Condors. We're going to have Maya hovering that Sova. At, whoa, never mind. That is actually our team. St. Clair College is going to be hovering the Sova. Abby Profen with the Cypher. Evil Oppie locking in that Neon. Korusu <laughs> on the Omen. Chris on the like I was saying, Breach. Yep, you got I it. Breach and Brimstone mixed yeah, up. Oh my, brain. my gosh. Still, after It was years, worse in beta. It was worse it was in beta. Worse. They looked even more similar. Like the color scheme was the same and people would like make the, the mess out of the callouts. So on the defender side, we have Conestoga Condors. We have Kaz on Breach. Panko on Reyes. Cresselia on that guy. I'm so blanking on his name right now. Yeah. Gecko. Go. Oh, I already Gecko. casted my brain. It's mush. Ella, Bo Ella Bloom on the Omen and MGD on the Cypher. It's because I don't see Gecko played enough. I love well, watching Gecko. Gecko gets played on Sunset because of those walls. You can chuck stuff over. Well, I also like that um, Cresselia is the, the player's name and they're playing the Pokemon Master oh, you're in right. Valorant. You're so right. I like that very much. Uh, very, very cool. Yeah, I don't know, like 
how standard this is for Sunset right now, pretty but it standard. looks pretty, like, both teams look pretty similar here. We got the, the Cypher, we got the Omen, uh, we got the Breach, and not Brimstone. Uh, and then just, like, the mix-up really is, like, kind of your uh, duelist, what you want to do there, right? Um, and I guess, like, for your... Um, I don't know exactly how you would say that. Like what? Like reconnaissance would be so. But what is the initiator? Initiator. That's the term they use in Valorant. That is it? But he is recon. You're right. Yeah. Some initiators, like Breach, is initiator. It's flashes. It's anyone who opens up that side of the map. But that's something that we all know and love. But it looks like the Saints. I wonder what they're buying here. Like. Do you yeah. think they're going to be buying sheriffs or ghosts? So yeah, here we go. It's going to be a ghost, singular ghost on Maya. The rest going to be either saving money, buying util, or buying those nice old shields. Yeah, Panko also going to be buying that ghost. I, If you had to ask me what my favorite gun is, I think it might actually be the ghost. I'm a ghost fan. I'm a sheriff guy myself, but I got to say Ghost is certainly more reliable if you can just hit those headshots, which, you know, I just I just can't sometimes. That's okay. We all have our days. But speaking of days, it looks like Conestoga's having a day as they kind of left A open. They're going to go for that ball of death strategy, Ella Bloom, win to Bloom out that paranoia out on the site for the team. Yeah, we're going to see. That is going to be good. Kaz going to take out Kurosu, but... Oppie gets a little bit of revenge there for their teammate. Oh my goodness, Saints just clean up in a matter of seconds. Only lost one, and that was just because of the paranoia. Everyone else there played absolutely impeccably. Now 1-0. and oh. This 100% win rate looks to be pretty true so far, but you know you can only win so many rounds. But this round, this next coming round, should very well go their way. Yeah. We'll have to see what the play is here. Saints going to go for those Spectres and a Guardian by the looks of it. Um, you know, which should help secure the next like round or two for them. Kind of get that momentum going when you have those better buys already. Exactly. You want to play the range advantage where you can. Make them have to either run at you with a shorty or kind of just lay down and take those shots. <laughs> Also, I gotta, I gotta say, Abby Profen is a fantastic username. I love that. Wow, I love those shots by Oppie there. Taking out MGD, Panko getting a kill with the classic on Maya. A lot of confidence there. Evil Oppie getting a triple so far. How many more? Will this be an ace on round two? Has to reload. 4K. Kaz is going to shut that one down. Kaz, last one remaining, feels the world closing in around them. And Korusu is going to end it. Yeah, this looks good for the Saints. Um, we're going to have to see. I think they'll probably just keep what they have a little longer, right? Uh, and then the Condors now are going to be able to buy their Vandals, all of them. So we'll have to see. It looks like Saints Abby Profen's going to pull through with that Vandal as well. And so is Kurosu. But uh, just kind of like save a little bit of money for now, right? Like if, if it ain't broke, why fix it? Exactly. We got to be responsible. We got to be economical here and sustainable. You don't want to just throw away perfectly good guns here. Evil Oppie going to throw away some lightning, though, towards the enemy. We're going to see an ultimate be popped here. Neon roaming around trying to find anything, something, before this charge goes down. Not going to overcommit the ult. Found something through the smokes. Abby Profen going to shut that one right down. MGD waiting for the team to come up. Everyone's pushing through this back site. Evil Oppy waiting in the corner, waiting for the moment to strike. They're all pushing through Garage. Wow! Chris with a 3K. Line them all up. Knock them down. MJD going to shut that down. Now it is a 2v1. Spike is down. Yeah, it's Oppy already been so explosive this game, ready to hold this angle, and sure enough, they do. They take out MGD, securing Saints a third win on this map. Thirty and O oh is the thing, is the scoreline right now for St. Clair. And whew, look at that arsenal right there. All five Vandals, all five shields, and even more money to spare. And Chris has that ultimate to just open up a site if it need be. 
And I think we have a tech pause being called. Never mind. It's okay. Oh. Never mind. Okay. All right. All right. So here we are. Just a little bit of a fake out. <laughs> I'm joking, a joking, tactical, joking. tactical pause. What is happening here? Kaz finds the opening shot. I think everyone's a little frazzled from the fake out right there. Ella Bloom trying to go in. Panko finding Oppie. The Saints, even with all the arsenal, I think things are not looking good. It's kind of falling apart here. Yeah, this is not good for the side of the Saints. Still three people remain but they don't really have any way to initiate fights other than that breach. Um, other than that, like, really, you're waiting. Save your cipher. You're waiting for people to walk into you. Oh, my gosh. Chris and Karosu and Abiprofen, everybody on the side of the Saints, going to work together here, get a couple of kills. MGD going to try to go on this flank, see if they can find the spike. But Saints are just too good. Abiprofen going to take them down. Beautiful plays by Abby Profen, and I gotta say, I've seen that time with MJD on the back line far too many times. I think maybe you gotta start hiding in a little bit of a more pressure sensitive spot, you know? Yeah. I think playing a little bit far back, you definitely don't wanna die a cipher. You wanna keep things up. But yeah. just being a little bit too far back, you can't really rotate fast enough to help the team out. Well, Nevertheless, I think it's just the Saints being an absolute force to be reckoned with. Yeah, also Cypher, Cypher loves it when they can just like set up on a point and have people push into you rather than vice versa, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I know it's not always the way it works, but that's you typically want to play more where you have the advantage. Yeah, but, maybe in the more in the thick of it with these traps. I mean, never mind, not going to get us <laughs> going to get copyright, copyright strike. I, oh, the intrusive thoughts are winning. Speaking of winning, Ella Bloom looking to win this fight against Evil Oppie. Oppie moving back over with the team. It is a very close fight here. And now, moving over to the A site, things are looking quite scary for the Saints. They only have a minute left. Yeah, this is... A little nerve-wracking for Saints fans here. Looks like the push is going to come through here for Saints. Just playing it nice and slow. Kurosu knows they're there. Abby is going to take out one, though. And Oppie going to take out Cresselia, but MGD does end up taking out Oppie in that fight. Abby Profen getting a nice headshot on Panko. Through the wall. There it is. There is the ultimate. They're all shaken up here. Will they live the aftershock? Crossy finding one. Crossy finding two. Through all the chaos, the Saints still remain supreme. This is looking very dominant for the Saints. This is a map, obviously, they're confident on. They're uh, really, like, showing off their skills here, but not getting cocky, you know? Like, they are playing this the best that they can right now. Um, and, I mean, 5-0 already. Like, we're almost halfway through the game you know five and oh get to six and oh and you like the snowball from there the mental diff you get to six and oh then you were just one away from yeah. seven and oh and then and once then. you get to seven and oh <laughs> it's almost like you're this far away from eight and oh and that ain't though no, you know who would i don't even know what happens after that the only thing that could stop the saints i know me too <laughs> the only thing that could stop the saints is a nine three curse I think Chris is what you're hoping for here. Go if you're through. Conestoga. Wow. Doesn't get the trade, but Chris has their back. Guardian Angel making an even all the way down. Chris looking to peer into the future here. Flashes in. Can't find anything, though. And now the Saints have a very interesting play going on right now. Looks like they're, like, slithering into that back site. Oppie just all the way on the super flank, and I think the Cypher might have found Oppie. Oh! Turns around, finds the other one. Oh! The panic, the panic, and it goes through for Oppie. Oppie's insane. The concussion goes through. Maya holding this corner, waiting for anyone to turn around. Panko in for a rude surprise. Spidey Sense goes off, says, no, nah, I'm not going to push that one. Arrow comes through. It's going to be a little bit of info. Abby Profen. Gonna go for the plant. Maya gets the trade, and now Chris going for the last one remaining. Paco tries to oh. get the headshot, but Maya is just too slick with it. 
Saints now six and zero, one away from seven and zero, as you say. Uh, but for real, this is looking quite dominant for Saints. Um, I do believe there's twelve rounds and a half, right? Yeah. Which is why that at the timeout is going to start now. Um, I always get confused because it's thirteen to win the game, but it's twelve rounds in the half. So yes. you know, I get a little a little confused. So if you're just confident on one end of the field, like Saint Clair College is. You could very well just take this one all the way to 12, but you still have to win that one defensive round. You can be the master of one, but you still need to be pretty good at the other. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Just enough to get you that just one enough. last round, right? But we've seen this before where a team will get 12 rounds and then get 12 rounded back, right? <laughs> exactly. And then it's back and forth in overtime, and they're just at a stalemate for three hours. And at that <laughs> point, is it really their fault or is that just a riot map difference? I think that's why, if that happens a lot, you need to go back and retool the map. I think so. If they're even on both sides, even skill level, it shouldn't be one-sided. No, no. It should be even. It should be. That's what you would think, right? But either way, once the ball gets rolling, it's hard to stop it. Conestoga Condor is taking a little bit of a breather there. And, I mean, why not? Got to try and stop the Saints' momentum somehow. And if you can't stop it with a round, you got to stop it with a break. But now, as we're going into the seventh round, they're armed to the teeth. This is looking to be explosive. Can I also just say, Oppie has 10 kills. There has been six rounds. <laughs> That's That's averaging a little over a kill. Oh, round. my goodness. And it's looking to be even more. Oppie getting two to start things off. Looking for three. <laughs> oh, this is one HP gets him. Wow, and now Oppie taking them down. Never mind, that breach just fell down like a like a bag of potatoes there. Yeah, Oppie just absolutely dominating the competition. Absolute this is crazy. Memory. Yeah, this is this is looking great for Saints. I mean, Oppie just going in, doing work. Uh, 13 kills now, round seven. By the way, you, like you said, averaging. Almost two kills per round, which is crazy. Like, <sighs> alone. That is crazy. And not to say that Abby Profen isn't too far behind. Oh, absolutely eight. not. It was really that, that last round that that, that widened that gap. By oh, quite absolutely. A bit. I mean, Oppie just going off with their ultimate. And now, Kurosu. Everyone's concussed here. Big concussion by Kaz here. Opening up the site. Taking down that evil Oppie. That's their operate there maya finding a double kill though yeah maya also doing work this game as well abby profen just manages to win that fight there with that flick ella bloom is gonna take out maya though so i mean saints are up one person but this is still still very like scary very scary indeed, especially when MGD has such scary precision taking one out. Looks like Korosu going to get the plant off, going to get that ultimate charge. It is 2v1 right now, MJD. No health to speak of, but you got that bulldog. One good burst, and they're gone. That's true. Chris watching a nasty angle, gets the flash, has to jump at 5 HP, and that's going to be Korosu ending the round. Yeah, Korosu doing work as well. Everybody's doing work here. Everybody it's clocked in, you know, locked in, clocked in. They're doing their best right now, and it is more than enough. And they're rocking. <laughs> they're rocking, and they're on a roll. Oh, uh, that's funny. That's there a funny are. one. There we go. All right, but I got to say, how far can this train be rolling I mean, you got all these ultimates. I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon. I don't think so either. I don't I, even think we could cast or curse them at this point. I mean, I mean, no, wait, you have to get to looking. 10 before you say that because 9 3 curse is real. It is true. It will do things like this to you if you're not careful. But this evil Oppie <laughs> defying the odds. Oh, no, I just meant that it would uh, like totally ruin your day, which is what evil Oppie is doing to this team. And now, Korosu in a little bit of a oh, jumping ball. Oh, no. This is disrespectful. No. You can't just knife MJD like that. Oppie. At the of 50. I think the Saints, you know, they say the pride cometh before the fall. You're getting yeah. pretty prideful here. Sure, you're 9 and 0. Oh, That's the time. Out. That's the time the curse begins if you're not careful. Exactly. You got to be watching now. You got to have those wards, those charms, those. 
those eyes of Hamsa there to stop any <laughs> sort of curses coming your way. And when you said wards, I was like, I don't think you can buy wards in this game. And then I realized you went like like a spiritual, yes. like like fend off the, the demons kind of ward. A talisman. A talisman of sorts. Uh, yeah, anyways, too much League of Legends, honestly. When they put the items in Valorant, I will... I will I'll cry. Be, I'll be happy. And I'll no, cry. no. Because there's items. They're just guns. Speaking of guns, they're going in guns blazing. Cresselia with the judge in the corner. Hey, when your back's up against the wall, why not have a shotgun with you? Of course, they're gonna shut it down. They did exactly what they needed to do there. Chris, also taking out Panko, Maya, and Abby Profen, and Corosa. Everybody's working together. Take out the Conestoga Condors. I think we're in the clear in the sense of no 9-3 curse. No 9-3 curse, but you ever hear of the 12-0 fable? Oh no, I haven't. It's a long epic concerned? tale where both teams go 12-0. Oh no. But honestly, I don't think that fable is going to take place here today. I think the Saints still have some very strong ultimates right in their there. back pocket if need be. And at this point, I think Conestoga Condors are just a little bit outmatched on this map. Oh yeah. Gonna have that neon wall going right on through to point. Exactly what they need to do. MGD trying to get a kill here. Oppie gonna say, nuh-uh. Time to go to sleep. Sleepy lullaby time. Thrash gonna be on the loose. Looking for some food. Wow, Ooh. somehow Chris gets a headshot even after all the chaos wide swing. Oppie finds one, Koisu finds another. Conestoga, Kaz using one last shot. Guardian Gamer over here oh. though getting those headshots. Oh my gosh, Korosu peaked Kaz right after they looked away. Oh! I'm freaking out here, I'm freaking out. I'm seeing ghosts, I'm Wait. seeing someone just taunt Kaz right here. Oh, this Abby Abby Profen. Abby Profen gonna be... Up on those boxes in behind Kaz there. Kaz checked, but didn't check hard enough, it appears. Uh, which made sure that Abby was able to get away with that hiding spot. Uh, we are in the last round for the swap, which means you gotta spend all your credits. Spend all your credits or you lose them, is what they say in the game. Exactly, and when you're that last person standing, you gotta be looking every corner like you lost your glasses. You gotta be checking every little corner. You gotta be doubting your own vision sometimes. Oh, yeah. You gotta double take sometimes. Absolutely. So that just, that's a classic mistake that we see even at the highest of levels where you just, the tension's high, you get your eye on the ball or the bomb, you just wanna get it diffused. Exactly. Maya, Take flight. we're gonna get some intel here for their team. Looks like they have an idea that Ella Bloom is there, but I don't know if they saw MGD. Gonna have to see very carefully here. Oppie gonna take out Ella Bloom. Maya takes out MGD. And Maya finding one through all the chaos. Cresselia holding on by a hair, but Chris gonna shut that down with a nice molly. Oh! Oh, Oppie being evil indeed, sending those dastardly bolts of lightning. Towards their enemies. Evil Oppie doing Switching evil sides. deeds. Match point. <laughs> exactly. That's how you get to 12 and 0. No remorse for good nor here. evil. You just have to go for what works. Dirty deeds done dirt cheap, oh, oh, oh. some might say. Some might say. Yeah. Others would say that they're gonna be a go, go, go. I, I was gonna make a sheriff joke, but then Oppie switched to a ghost, so my joke died. Wait, Kurosu still has a sheriff. Ghost there you go, go ahead. Make go your joke. Ahead. This yeah. sheriff's gonna rein in the law here, gonna try oh, to stop these ghosts. That's a funny one. To a 13 and oh, the clean sweep there. for the Saints. That's what they're playing for right here. But if I know the Saints, these pistol rounds are Maybe a little bit sketchy. First. I don't know, actually. I don't know if that's a game changers team, though. That's the that's like, the varsity premier team right there. In the last few years, the varsity teams for Valorant have been Oh my gosh, I thought you die. <laughs> like the observer clown have been well. very good, but sometimes the pistol rounds would be like off a little bit. But I mean, I, I've seen nothing from Game Changers to make me believe that this varsity team 
does that. This varsity team is built different, Matthias. They're here to change the game. They're, They're here, here to, to change the game, the game. By not losing pistol, Maya going in, taking some shots. Because Ponko flying all over the place, trying to get out of this flash. I mean, you got to try and get out when you're so much pressure is on your team. Coruscant finding one with that Sheriff raining in the law, like I said. But it's going to be Ellen Bloom and Ponko cleaning them up. Last person standing is going to be Chris. Yeah, Chris going to take out Ponko. This is it. This is for the clean Don't sweep. Don't Oh! <laughs> I just peaked my mic so bad. I apologize. <laughs> oh, that was so close. I we even have limiters on these, and it couldn't stop me. It could not stop me. You can't stop the peak. Yeah. Um, and speaking of peak, this is peak gameplay. This is peak! And I gotta say, this might be the fable. The fable of 12 and 0. <laughs> That's not a real thing! 24 on both sides. And maybe that's a sign Riot needs to read it on the map, but nevertheless, I have a feeling that St. Clair College is still going to try and win it right here. They're buying sheriffs, they're feeling confident, but now they're on the back foot. They haven't had practice with that. And I have a feeling that tonight's going to be a good night. I just have a good feeling. Ooh. ooh. We'll see. We'll have to All see. Right. Trip wires up. Can you do the limbo here? Can you get past this tripwire without alerting everybody? No, you cannot. It is a, not a choice here. I have to bear with it. It's Addy Profit on the defense. Honko getting a key kill. Ooh, this is looking a little dicey for Saints. That first kill can mean... Ooh, bad things. That bomb buddy. Just an unfortunate placement there for the Saints. Maya almost got out of that. There. But not quite. Galapi slide in with a classic of all things. Corso going in for the gun, but it was bait. And now Kaz and Corselia with the double kill. They're starting to clean things up here. Wow. Yeah, this is. I think you're about to see the 12 to 12 fable happen. <laughs> Just you wait until these guns are equal or better for Saints, like we're seeing right now. And I think. I think Oppie's gonna cook. I think Oppie is getting up there, or they're just delaying. They're just in attacking. Team. They're just delaying until Oppie right can there. hit that thirty bomb, and then they'll end the game. Thirty bomb? You think that's? I think they. I can think. Do I it. think they're either gonna win right here, or it's gonna be a twelve-twelve fable. Really? This is the proving ground right now, right here, right now. I'm out Evil here. Oppie tapping into that dark energy. The wizard in the tower, go, go, go. trying to find something here. We love casting spells. Let's see, can Oppie cast the spell of finding these Conestoga condors and taking them out like it's hunting season? Hunting season, maybe it's agent season here. Looking for the lineup, Evil Oppie. Watching it like a hawk. Yeah, this is nice and slow here for the condors. Oppie gonna get one though. Casting that bullet spell. Yeah. One of the most consistent spells in wizard Gun. technology. Oh, Oppie, don't get hit. Oppie did not get hit. Well, the paranoia dodges deftly. There's a flash. Smoke going out. People, Ooh, Oppie, watching out, the backside. They know they don't want to push that smoke blindly, but they might push that backside. Ponko moving over to the other end, taking out the recon dart. Things are tense. And what is this cypher doing in the middle here? Left. Just waiting for any rotations. Maybe even waiting for the team. They're going to funnel out into that mid spot. They know it's safe. They know it's clear. You know, all the saints are clustered in on that A site. It's like that meme, the, he's behind me, isn't he? Like, that's Oppie pushing, that's exactly like, it. going to push on, like, out of sight. Oh, oh. all the chaos. Maya gets one, Ibuprofen gets another, and just like you said, Amanda, you must be a prophet, as you predicted, as soon as those guns were equal and or better, like a, like a standard uh, alligator sign from math. Alligator sign? What, what they, it's like alligator wants to eat the bigger number, or equal, oh. lesser than or equal to, okay. guns equal win for the Saints, and that's going to be the game one win for them. Just need to win one more. One more in the series, I believe. Uh, and then we're looking at 
Saints Game Changers team live on but land. Going into the next match, I'm wondering if they're starting attack or defense. Because if they start attacking again, I think they have this one in the back. But if it's defense, you could definitely tell that depends they were not map. as comfortable on that one. I think regardless of map, our, all of our Saints teams, for some reason or another, just love going on the offense, love starting attack. I think that's yeah. just the culture we have here. We love striking first, getting the momentum swing, and then reacting to what the team does after that. I would say so. I think seeing how this team is played, this team plays a lot more patiently, I guess. More deliberately. I more deliberate. Say. Yeah, they know they have they have a strat going in, and they're not trying to make those hero plays, trying to be you know kill leader really. I mean, uh, you see, you see, yeah. Oppie, you see, well, Oppie. Oppie's <laughs> playing with the team, but also going for the villain plays. Yeah, the exactly evil the evil plays, right? <laughs> evil Oppie would not be evil without these plays, right? Because these plays are bad. These plays are they're so bad, bad they're good. Exactly. You know, so yeah. With all that being said, we're going to throw it over to a very quick break, and we'll be right back with Map 2.
We're back at it again. St. Clair College taking game one in a near sweep scenario. Conestoga Condor is looking to prove themselves here on the attack. And Commanda, Amanda Dupuy, how are you feeling? What are your thoughts? Um, I mean, I feel weird being called Commanda in public again. Uh, like, like Commanda, what are your commands? Uh, my commands are uh, that Saints win this next game. All right, that is the command. Let's see if Chris, Abby Profen, Maya, Evil Oppie, and Korosu can do it. We see a little bit of a switch up. Maya switching onto the Omen off of the Breach, and Korosu switching onto the Oru. Meanwhile, on the side of Conestoga Condors, we have Panko on the Jet, Ella Bloom on the Sky, Kaz on the Race, Cresselia on the Omen, and MJD on that classic Cypher. I like the arcane profile picture for Oppie here as well. It's cool. Yeah. Very good. Same thing with Chris, actually. Yeah. They have the matching. It's parallel. The matchy matchies. Cinematic parallels. Yeah, oh we way. love that. That comes out tonight, everybody. I know I'm going to It already is out, it. I believe. Well, it's going to be coming out into my eyes tonight <laughs> off of my TV. Okay. <laughs> coming off the internet, Netflix, into my brain and i'm gonna love every second of it uh, speaking of loving every second i'm gonna love every second of this up and coming valorant match i'm excited to see what the connoisseur condors are gonna be able to do on the attack because once they got on the attack you can definitely tell they woke up quite a bit they're giving it a very competitive run but the saints once they got those weapons in hand brought things back yeah saints are getting ready here to play defense, you know, like you said, defense, first time. I was going to say, defense was not that easy for them last game. But Oppie already completely changing the the future of what I had envisioned in my mind. Oppie being a real op here to the Conestoga Condors. Now, the Yoru going for <laughs> a little bit of a confident orb. MJD going to punish that one. But hey, they got the orb. Yeah. Now you're two points up on your ultimate going into the next round, but fortunately you're not going to be able to help your team any longer. Saints were able to ponder thy orb, but only for a little bit there. Uh, we're going to see Chris is actually going to be holding that angle, but they're smoked off, so it's kind of hard for them to hold that angle properly and provide that you know eyes and ears for their team. Eyes and ears, that's what it's all about, but you're forgetting about the sensory of the soul right there. That's Ponko shattering right through that soul and onto the site. And now, speaking of souls, we're going to be going up over to heaven and seeing oh. there for the Saints. They're jumping down into hell itself. Bomb is down, and they are also falling down as Opifant's one. The evil within is going to be taken out of the competition. Two more remain. Wow, they get oh one God. more. How many more can Oppy get? Can they get the 4K on the first round? You know what? I can't believe that you and I were like, I don't know what Saints are going to do on this defense. We saw their defense on Sunset. It was a little rocky in the pistol round. And then Oppy just hold my hold my drink and then ends up 4K the other team first round. Well, the sun has set and it's a new day and we're done splitting hairs. Ah, uh, that's a good one. Moving on into a new era where St. Clair College is just as good on the defense. I mean, there it is. The weapons are already in their hand. There's no more awaiting unless Kanasoga has some very here. tricky plays here. This is probably going to go the Saints way once again. Oppie deciding to opt Cutting for that Vandal right off the bat. Guardians, though, for the rest of the Saints and uh, I believe Spectres. Spectre Gadget on their way on through. Bomb going out. It's a good amount of clearance. Ponko, though, taking a little bit of damage. And wow! Oh! A right angle here from Korosu! Trying to get something to happen. This is absolute chaos. Oh my Classic! Gosh. You get a 3k! What is wrong? Chris cleaning it all up. Korosu! Pandemonium! Oh my gosh, such pandemonium. The voice crack was real. Hey. I got caught. It. I'm gotta sorry. Crack. It's got to crack. I'm sorry. There's a limit to my voice, and it has to crack in those moments. I mean, yeah. it's as strong as steel, but even steel cracks under the greatest pressure. I mean, oh yeah, you don't. That's true. But you know what happens when you have enough pressure? You get diamonds. 
And right. that's what we're seeing. Not diamond rank. Diamond in terms of quality and perfection from the side of the Saints. Just beautiful work so far. Like, Karosu with that 3K. What is going on? Well, yeah, I had to. That was... I. That was from nowhere, and wow, Goats <laughs> flash out, Yoro clone, Yoro clone gets a lot of value here, Corsu getting a double kill, will it be another triple back to back, Griselia shutting down Maya, omen for omen, maybe that's a good omen for them, as Ella Bloom trying to push around this corner, Boombot goes out, they hear the gunshots, Chris waiting patiently in the corner, evil Oppy showing some evil, evil peaks right here. Oh, truly Steven. evil. We'll have to see if this aim is as evil as they say. Actually, Chris gonna help out with that one. Take out Ella Bloom. The dark, uh... Arts. I, well, no. I totally forgot the Don't name. Sky. Can't. Dark Sky of... The, the anti-Sky. Yeah, They're playing Sky, too. Anyways, I'm done Sorry. trying. A parallel. Parallel. Karosu. Karosu with the 4K! 4K Ultra HD Ultra Wide <laughs> Curved Monitor. Yeah, exactly. As Corsu showing us all the beautiful picture that they are painting with their brush, which is a vandal. Exactly. They should not let us cast anymore. I think they should. <laughs> when we cast together, it's always it's always a joy, Matthias. It's always, always a joy. joy. It's a long day here, folks, and I don't think it's going to be going on much longer. For the Saints, if they keep yeah. this up, they're going to be 2-0 and with a back-to-back -back sweep. This is already looking very good for Saints. Ella Bloom going to get a little bit of intel. Knows that somebody's there. I do believe they spotted out Evil Oppie. We'll have to see. Flash. Oh. Caruso and Chris get two. Three left on the board. And now can't TP anymore if you're Caruso. Go in with the flash to your back. Get a free peek in mid. Camera goes out. You know where one is. Are you going to go for it? Maya watching the other side. Creeping in. Holding any angles. The cypher feels the walls closing in on themselves. Ella Bloom though. In the back gets one with a sheriff. Yeah. Going to reload there. Such a pretty gun by the way. Uh, Karosu. 3k. 4k again. Karosu. 3k first round. Uh, second round. 4k. The, the third round and 4K the fourth round. What is going on here? Karosu has woken up to some slumbering power within them and is now just taking over this game. However long that power was slumbering, it's awake. Wide awake now. It's had its 9 a.m. coffee. It waited 90 minutes before that coffee. Oh, indeed. yeah. And now they are awake, raring to go, and that beast is on the loose. And... That's a lot of value we're getting out of this Yoru as well. Yoru, notoriously, either very strong or the team is ready for it. None of the tricks work. But it seems like Corson knows how to play around this Yoru util, yeah. knows the mind games, knows the angles, and knows how to get inside the Condor's head. Yes, this is already... The Saints look absolutely dominant right now. It's 4-0. Don't want to cast or curse it, but... I mean, we might see another 12-0. At this point, I'm, I don't want to say hoping for a caster curse, but I'm sure the Conestoga Condors are, and I, I'm not that mean of a guy that I'm not going to call it how I see it. I think St. Clair College is just doing an absolutely amazing job, and I don't think much of anything could stop them. Karosu is averaging almost three kills a round right now. Absolutely insane. That is crazy. Yeah, this is looking very good, but you know, you never know. We're only four rounds in. You're right, you're right. We're only four rounds in. Every round matters. But nevertheless, Conestoga Condors still have a lot of room to turn this around. Yes, and now the buys will be completely equal. Armor, all that jazz. So we'll have to see how they play it. Cresselia going to get that plant. Panko just watching and waiting. Watching, waiting, oh. right time to strike Panko, getting a good kill, Kaz getting a kill as well, maybe the caster curse is coming to fruition, Panko getting another one, yep. the Saints falling one by one, it is a 2v5 scenario, they are in a very difficult scenario. But we kind of get a chance here to see Maya potentially shine, no, might one just HP. save. 
One HP and a dream. Kind of a tough position they've been put into. Ponko actually gonna get that 4K for their own team there. That's gonna be good for them. And now the journey of a million miles is made with a single step. The Conestoga Condors finally get their foot in the door here yeah. on the attack. They still haven't flushed out the Saints economy, but one more round like that, and they're back in this thing. Oh yeah, absolutely. You're gonna see this is not going to be the same as the first game in this series where Saints were dominant for 12 rounds before Conestoga was able to take a round off of them. But, I mean, this is already looking pretty, like, pretty even in terms of, I guess. Oh, I saw the gun through the smoke. Chris finds the shot. Banco getting one right back, though. Gotta watch out for that jet. Ella Bloom getting one as well. Gotta watch out for that sky. Gotta keep your eyes on the ball, Spike though. Planted. Korosu moving in like a shadow in a dark alley looking for the right close. time to strike. Oh, gets seen out by the cam, though. Now Ella Bloom in the corner gonna get taken out by Maya. The Saints are encroaching upon the territory of this bomb, of the spike rather. Honko moving in. Ooh, the 2K with the showstopper. And it's gonna be Corso with the closing credits. Taking everything down. Maya going for the defuse. And the Saints reclaim their top spot. You know, Korosu means kill in Japanese. And kill is exactly what they are doing here. You know what? They might not have been the star of the show that time, okay? Oppie kind of popped off a little bit. But Korosu, or Korosu is just absolutely doing work for their team. Already has 12 kills with two deaths only. Only two uh, deaths to speak of. Same with Evil Oppie. That's what you got to do. If you can't win the round, you at least got to deprive the enemy team of any resources. Because every time you die, you hand over a little bit of cash over to them. So if you can just I've got your play the safe game and not die, that counts for even more. Wait, now the flash goes out. Evil Oppie finds the headshot. Looking for a little bit of more value, but gets the tripwire Ooh. as well. You gotta throw a grenade, you're out of bullets, you're flashed out, you get out, and your team's there, the cavalry's here, one last in the smoke, in the corner, Abby Profing gets the kill and a flawless round. Saints are looking good, it looks like that round they lost never even happened. This is just, like, absolute domination these last two rounds, they are unfazed by the round they lost. They are absolutely unfazed, unfettered, unbothered by anything that could happen in this game. They are just keeping goes here. their eye on the ball, on the gun, and on the enemy. Yep. That goes there. But speaking of keeping your eyes, look at... I'm going to adjust your eyes over <laughs> to the alt line. They got four alts Get on the Conestoga way. Condor side, and the Saints have to be very careful about that. Absolutely. <laughs> Very aggressive play from Chris. Not going to quite get the payoff you need there. MJD getting a few pot shots off on the Yoru. Panko and Ella Bloom moving in on through with the blades. Maya going to shut that down somehow. The confidence from Maya is outstanding. Chris Elliott planting. Flash goes out, flicks at the right moment with Ella Bloom there with the right angle. And once again, it's down to Abby Profen. It's always the ciphers that are alive last. Yes, Abiprofen. Oh, just did not check that angle long enough. Ended up losing that round. I'm caster cursing these poor saints every time. I'm so sorry, St. Clair. You guys are killing we are it. You are caster cursing them. Yeah, you guys are killing it, and then I curse you, and you just fall back. You stumble. You don't fall completely. You just stumble. And yeah. now... I'll try and cast a curse it the other way. Yeah. Conestoga Condor is making an absolutely amazing comeback. All this is true, by the way. Oh, yeah. And it's looking dire for the Saints. I mean, they're up four points, but, you know, they were up eight points last game. So yeah. It's not, it's not as good if we're going to be splitting hairs here. But <laughs> nevertheless, Conestoga Condors can very well get themselves in a position right here to take things back, especially with Kaz jumping in there like a wild animal. But Abby Prof going to shut that down. Yeah, this is already looking pretty good for Saints, but, I mean, 
Conestoga's already on the point. They didn't fall for that Yoru clone. They didn't fall for that trap. A little bit of back and forth. Abi gonna take out MGD. Conestoga only has two members left, but they are out on that point. Cresselia gonna take out Abby Profen. It is... Two to two. To two. two to two. You're Lobby. right. <gasps> Creeping in here. Chris. Tell there's a little bit of nerves there. Gets the headshot though. Through the wall. And Evil Oppy there in that toe. Able to get the round. Seven to two will be the score line. And I gotta say, the cipher ping there, I think, threw off the cipher. It threw me off. Yeah. Because we saw the cipher around the corner through the ping. Like, oh, they're there. But they swung the corner as soon as the ping went off, and you're seeing oh, double cipher. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Which, to be fair, great play by Cresselia. I mean, you got to try and play the mind games right back when you're being put in such a precarious situation. Oh, for sure. I mean, like, already. Conestoga looks way better this game than they did in game one, in my for opinion. Sure. And all these rounds, the scoreline might be 7-2. to two. But it feels like it's been closer than that for a while here. These teams are pretty evenly matched here. I mean, it looks like Saints have had a bit of a leg up on this team. But the, the game is still close. Kurosu going to take out Kaz and MGD. Another one for Kurosu. Looking for that 5k. Going to get the ace. Absolutely insane. I mean... What are you going to do at that point? Like I could barely react to that. You were you caught that the second it happened. They all fell down like a domino effect, one after another. And now the Saints in an absolutely amazing position. See, I'm not even like bothered by that tactical crouching because I think at that point they earned it. They earned just one, just one, just one. You know. Decoy. No comment. No comment. <laughs> I think like. I think you might be able to earn one in your lifetime, right? I Surely. Think that is eight and two. And right now, Abby Profen pressures Please on begin. your cipher. Haven't gotten a kill in a round, potentially. You're itching for some kills. Yeah. Chris finds one, Ella Bloom finds another. Kaz going in on the back line. Abby Profen gonna go down. Corsa though, just on absolute fire here. But not another 4K. It's gonna be Evil Oppy being quite dastardly yeah being quite well, evil well, even Some to steal evil. that final kill but from no. our goat speaking of goats a goaded 9-3 curse might come into play here if conestoga condors can take this next round this ra next round is worth more than one round this is worth 12 rounds and more i would say this is worth 32 rounds if you can win this next round you take this game and the next one. You can get to 30. That's crazy. I've seen that. I've happen. seen it. I've seen it. You were there. I was there. I remember. I remember. But enough memories. Let's make some new ones as they're crouching in onto that B site. I see a few going in on the other side. Actually, it's a clone. And I get faked out by the or sometimes. But Evil Oppy keeping up the dark arts. Taking out Bongo. Yeah, Evil Oppy. I'm gonna throw that nade in there. Not gonna catch anybody, but the the sky jellyfish alt is gonna come through from the side of Conestoga onto the Saints. Didn't end up doing much except give a little bit of intel. Um, looks like oh my goodness, Saints are cleaning up right now. Maya, Maya with a 3K. Everybody on the side of the Saints has had their time to shine today. I think everybody's had a chance to shine. But now, I think it's going to be so shiny, so bright, you won't be even able to look at it. Yeah. Which is St. Clair's attack. You've seen their defense. That was good. But they lost two rounds. You know what they haven't lost? Their two spirit. Two rounds on was the attack. So now they just need three attacking rounds here. It's pistol to take it all the way to the end, potentially. Let's see you know, that's I definitely knew that's what you were gonna say, and not that they haven't lost their spirit or their 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 moment in the spotlight. You know. I think there's no question of that at yeah, all. Yeah, they they got They're this. They're overflowing with spirit. You know what? And Conestoga too. Like like I said, the scoreline may be 10-2, but every round has been pretty dang close. Yeah, it's 10-2, and two, and the Saints are looking to drive themselves to victory. Proper handling on the steering wheel here. Spike is in hand. 
Kaz throwing that grenade, trying to stop them in their tracks. Nothing can stop the Saints right now. They're just on a roll. Maybe Kaz can. Gets one, two. Looking to buckle the shoe. Maya shutting that one down. MJD going in. Ponko getting one. Ella Bloom getting another. It's an absolute Ooh. bloodbath over here on the B site. Ponko winning the defending round for the Conestoga Condors. Yeah, also, like, Ponko, this entire series has been playing phenomenally so far i must say i mean kill leader right now the duelist kill leader on the side of conestoga doing work more kills than some of the saints it's true it's very very true but i mean at the same time when you have Korosu, yes and you have evil oppie just absolutely going ham right now there's not, uh, there's not a whole lot of room for other people to really get kills. And there's more to Valorant than kills, right? When it comes to being a good heart. player and teammate. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess. But also, <laughs> there are so many like positions in this game that just require you to watch an angle and set up your utility. And you might get a couple kills here and there, but... It's more about the strategy and the big brain plays. I think it's about the gumption. Like, that Oppie was overflowing with gumption when they landed that headshot full of spirit, full of vim and vigor here as Ponko is watching this angle with a wave dash in tow. Oh. Cresselia binding two! Cresselia just absolutely Spike catching down. the Saints off guard. Spike down Conestoga can get it locked down and not let anybody on. MGD is going to take out Maya as well. At this point, if I was Abby Profen, actually, they don't have anything to save. I was going to say, I would just save. But, I mean, if you have nothing to lose, then you could just... Oh, my God! Barely even on Panko's like John Wick. <laughs> yeah, Cresselia is going to take out Abby Profen at the end. But, like, you could barely see it on Panko's screen at all that uh that they were there yeah that was insane you saw like a single saw the tip of the barrel of the ghost of the suppressor one pixel one atom one a little bit of smoke escaping the end of the barrel it was absolutely insane and now conestoga Making a bit of a comeback, some would say. They're looking pretty good, but they now, are. after two rounds of the Saints, should have some better weapons in hand. Let's see. Conestoga does not want to go oh. quietly into the night. There's an op in play. Oh my goodness, I didn't even notice. Punko with the op. That is scary if you are St. Clair. We've seen Punko's aim. Panko, Panko. I I mess it up every time. Linko. Yeah, sure. Um, but we've Maybe seen their aim, right here. and it is terrifying to be against. Yeah. Let's be real. It's absolutely terrifying. We know it's more terrifying. Cresselia lurking in the smoke, being shut down by Maya. Evil Oppie finding another. They're falling down. MJD keeping things competitive, though. Finding one, looking for two. Can't quite find it. Bunko finding the op shot. Going for a kill here. It's Korosu shutting it down. Ponko, one of the last two standing. It's Maya. Death from above. Where's the last one? You gotta be starting to panic here. I would be panicking, too. Spike is gonna go down gonna want to grab that op but that's exactly what most people would think to do they have vision on the person in top here that's ella bloom oh gonna take down Korosu. maya gonna finish that off honestly grab the op i would grab the op i don't maybe think not maybe think it's not their vibe if you're not an opper don't grab the op. i mean i guess if you're on attack you don't need to op either right you can opt it's, you, you could, can opt to not hard. op right like it's, it's a, not optimal. It's not optimal, I would say. Yeah, I'd say the opportunity is not there. You also have to keep in mind your opponents. Yeah, you're right, you're right. And <laughs> Conestoga doesn't really like to play these wide angles. But nevertheless, enough about the ops. Let's talk about our allies here, the St. Clair College Saints. Blinded. Looking pretty good here. Korosu finding one, Chris finding another, Kaz shutting it down with a single grenade. He's trying to get into the thick of it here, Ella Bloom finding a pick, it's 3v3. 
yeah, Karosu just gonna get out of there. Repositioning is the best bet in their minds, and that is totally valid. I get it. You might just want a little change of perspective to shake up the game. They're gonna try to just break through here. Karosu gonna take out Ella Bloom. Kaz actually gonna take out two members of the Saints. But not before Karosu could get down MGD. We have a 1v1 on our hands, with ladies and gentlemen. Guardians. Yes, with Guardians. With Guardians. And they are totally back-to-back -back right now without realizing it, as you can see on our map in the top left. And it looks like Abby Profen is just going to be able to get this spike, spike and run with it. For free? For free. I would, honestly, if I was Conestoga, that's the first place I'd go is to the spike. But, I don't I know mean, if they knew they had it. It was like... On that's a mountain true. of corpses and yeah, that's chaos. True. It should still appear on your map if one of your teammates saw it. Oh my gosh, no! Oh my goodness! The showstopper! What are we doing? Guys knows what they're doing. They get the kill and now the Saints, you can, you can definitely feel a little bit of tension here. You know, sure you're up at six rounds, but it's two rounds between you and a lion. Yeah, well also... You know, Abby Prof in there, that was unlucky. I felt that. I felt my heart sink I, as that moment of, uh, you know, the, like I said, the, they're right behind me, aren't they? Like, me and that was exactly how it must have felt to be Abby Prof in that moment, you know, reloading the gun and looking to your left and just seeing the rays over there and being like, oh, no. And, like, you know, right? You already know what's coming, so. You know, you know. If you know, you know. But Saints looking to break through mid here. Gonna see. I think they're just kind of playing for picks, but it looks like they would prefer to go to B. So it's been doing them so well right now. It's been doing them relatively well. Right now, they're pushing into mid right now. They have Abby Profen on that A site, dropping down the elevator. Ooh. Who's the... Who's the elevator attendant? It's Cresselia. Making sure you don't reach your destination. Ella Bloom finding one as well. The Saints recover live. Conestoga Condor is looking to make this a very difficult win. Yeah. Kaz just holding this angle. But I feel like Saints, they're just going to go A at this point. They're going to cut their losses and try to just take a fight with hopefully less people in their minds over on A. They would be correct in assuming that. Chris actually going to help with that and Evil Oppie. That site is clear for the Saints if they want to plant while the rest of Conestoga is going to rotate into heaven here. And it's even now. It's three on three. A very dire situation. Had a quick turnaround. Long range. I'm going to give that over to the Guardian if Panko can play this correctly. Chris finding a one. It's 2v3. Walls are closing in on them. Time is ticking. You need to start the defuse and soon. Kaz finds one, but it's up to the Saints to run out the clock. Why run out the clock when you can run out their heads with a bullet? It's going to be Panko finding one. The tension's high. This could put Saints on map point here if they just play it correctly. Oh my gosh. Play the wall game, but it's not good enough. Panko going to get the kill. Yeah, that defuse is going to come through. Yep, just in time there for the side of Conestoga. That was really good play there by Panko, I must say. That was, oh, that was nerve wracking. I am, you know, on the edge of my seat already, Matthias. Me too, I'm just about to fall off. I'm so leaned far forward. I am worried for the Saints. They are looking to be in a rough spot, but Never mind, I just got a glimpse. They have four ultimates. And something I really need to point out is I don't think the Saints have used your ultimate a single time. They've been holding on to that Who's ultimate nice. all game. And there so it is. Does that let you warp somewhere? What it does it do you, again? You can see right here. Oh, you dimensional drift. Invisible. Scout it out. Right oh. now, of course, you're saying. Sight's clear. No one can hurt Yoru. I'm back. That's true. That's a really Decent bait clone right there. If they turn the corner, they're not going to shoot at it. They're going to shoot at Korosu there in the corner. Flash comes out. Oh. Dash comes in. Conestoga. Panko leaving all but crumbs left in their wake. <laughs> the showstopper from Oppie is going to go off. Can't find a kill. Oh. This is looking dire. Guys, Oppie, I'd probably cut my losses there. And that is 
what is going to have to happen here for the Saints. Conestoga really wants to keep on in the Aurora series and go to LAN, so they don't want to go down without a fight in this game. If they win this game in the series, then they have a chance at that LAN still. I mean, we'd be going to a game three, and it would still be an absolute fight to watch. Definitely would. You can definitely sell, see the Conestoga Condors beginning, not beginning, but finally truly adapting to the Saints play styles, finding the cracks in their game plans, and making full use of it. And now 11-7, to seven, a scoreline we haven't seen, or not even expecting to see. It's looking very dangerous, especially with Panko having the Blades online. Yeah, it looks like just going to have a little bit of setup happening here. Saints playing pretty fast actually that yoru clone gonna come out and i think that's where yoru clones do best is where you know you're just peeking that angle for a split second and you wouldn't be able to tell the difference look at that conestoga gonna take out two members of the saints but the saints answer in kind although kaz and panko gonna clean up the last of the saints and we are at 11 to 8 ladies and gentlemen this is getting scarily close and i think it might be part in to fact the nerves you have to be a little bit nervous going in to this game, especially if you're St. Clair. Excitement, nerves, whatever you want to call it, you might be going to a LAN if you can just take two more rounds. And there's a lot on the line for Conestoga Condors. You don't want to not even have a chance to go to that LAN. Oh, absolutely. You want to keep on fighting. You got here. You fought so far, especially after not a great first map. Now that you're having some success here, you want to try and close this one out. Absolutely. And especially, like... This team is new to St. Clair this semester, um, but the thing is, this might be the first land that this team plays together on, which would be fantastic, right? To go, you, you end up meeting some new people and you work with them for a semester and you earn and fight your way up to the top to go to a land for the first time. I'm sure that feeling would feel phenomenal. So we'll just have to see if they can make it through. Two rounds is all they need, Matthias. Two rounds is all they need to make it there. Gun here. That's all you need. But looking over at Conestoga, all you need is four rounds here to bring it over to an overtime scenario. And I think if we get there, I might as well give it over to the Condors. Yeah. But St. Clair, they don't have much in the way of weapons, in the way of money. This is going to be a scrappy round. Absolutely. With Panko on that op, it's gonna be very scary if the Saints do choose to go A. But I mean, Panko's sitting so close. Panko, Panko, sitting so close there to mid. They can easily rotate on over. Ooh, Kaz actually gonna take out the first member of Saints. Chris gonna take out Kaz in kind, though. I know exactly. Gonna just even it up so they're not out just down yep it's even across the player board right now Chris getting the plant down it's all about the defense there's the seekers going out get some info that most of them are in that back side of sight two of them are in heaven the blades are online and through down below is that where you want to be yes it is maya and toe gets the kill Ella Bloom finding a one. It's three to three. Corsu finding a one. Ella Bloom going for the defuse. Pros don't fake. But St. Clair doesn't fake either. Yes, 12 to 8 now. This might be just what Saints needed here. You know, especially that kill on to the alting Panko with the operator. That's going to hurt Conestoga a little bit. Sure, they will still have funds to buy. But, I mean. Taking out that operator, taking out the possibility of a jet alt in this next round, which could win Saints the game, is a little scary. However, Conestoga still has the Omen alt, still has the Sky alt. Sky alt's mainly to get info, but the Omen alt can be a real, no pun intended, game changer here. Exactly. And now... Conestoga Condors needs a four-round swing once again to bring this to OT. They can't make any more mistakes. You can't lose any more rounds. 
And it's up to the Saints to try and close this one out. You can definitely tell the tension time trades left and right. We're down to a 3v4. Conestoga in the lead by one person. Spike Bomb planted. goes down. Spike is down. Chris going to rotate over to get that angle on heaven. We have Oppie waiting in the corner watching this backside. Yeah, it looks like MGD wants to peek this. Ooh, the Sky Dog is going to spot out Oppie there. Chris firing through that smoke just manages to hit a member of Conestoga a couple times there. Oppie gonna take out Panko. Ella Bloom takes out Oppie in return. Chris looking for a kill. Gets one, gets two. Can they get three? Oh, so close. Bros don't fake as you say there. And it looks like Conestoga doesn't fake either. Unfortunately, you can't really line up the shot, the smokes, without wall hacks. And honestly, can you blame them for painting a picture around them? It's just so difficult to line up that headshot, especially when you have three of them circling around like a carnival game, making sure oh, yeah. you're always occupied. Yeah, and the, the fact is, too, like, that defuse situation unless you have some sort of vision right like uh cypher alt or something mm -hmm. where you can see exactly where they are you just end up like maybe yeah. i think there's a few body shots there. I, that's what i was gonna say i think they got them down to half but i don't think they were able to get that like kill confirm i mm -hmm. guess in that sense so they didn't have enough bullets in the mag either they had to go for a reload and that wasn't enough time you had to get the headshot there, and unfortunately, through the smoke, that's like a one in a million shot right there. So right now, scoreline 12 to 9. If the Saints don't have the funds here, this is going to be a very rough round. Yes, this is going to be rough indeed. I mean, Saints can make it work this round. You know, it, they're going to force here. Like, four Vandals and mostly heavy armor is fair. The fact, though, that some of the Saints have light armor is a little scary. I mean, personally, I think always go he for heavy armor if you can afford it. And if you have to choose between heavy armor or a better gun, I think heavy armor can never do you wrong because it can sometimes just leave you with that last little bit of HP that you need. Um, but, you know, there is something to be said about picking the stronger gun and just being a glass cannon so we'll have to see if it will pay off for the saints let's see if that glass can shine right on through there's two people in that Ooh. corner that's not going to be very good for maya at all it's a 5v4